Hello, Sidewinders. This is Mr. H, and I'm joined by Mrs. O'Boyle here in the new studio. We are excited to share news with our students and families about the recent announcement that PD schools will be reopening middle and high schools for in-person learning beginning on February 22nd. We miss you. This place is not the same without you, and we're excited that student life will soon return to our hallways later this month. Next week, I will be sending out a survey to all families and ask each of you to tell us if you will be returning to in-person or staying on with PD Connect. Whichever option you decide, our teachers and staff will work hard to provide you the best middle school experience that we can with something that we call dual modality. Dual modality means that our teachers will be teaching virtual classes and in-person classes at the same time. This gives our students and families flexibility during these changing and challenging times, but it is incredibly difficult for our teachers. We can support our teachers here with patience, understanding, cooperation, and support. We recognize that each of our students face a unique circumstance and that may require one model or another. We know that some students will choose to return in person and some will choose to stay at home with PD Connect. There will be changes for everyone starting on February 22nd. So listen carefully. In this message, we'll discuss details of our schedule, the safety plan, and everything related to a return to school. Moving back to an in-person instructional model means a pivot back to our regular DSMS bell schedule. This school day begins at 8 o'clock, but ends at 2.40. We will have two lunch periods, one for 7th and one for 8th grades. And classes will last approximately 50 minutes. Please see our bell schedule on our website, or in an email to all students, or in an upcoming parent blast for your reference. We'll make sure we get that back to you. This is the same bell schedule we used last time we were in person. The only change to our regular bell schedule will be a result of a district-wide decision to adopt an early release schedule every Wednesday through the end of the school year. It is important for our families to understand that this time is being afforded to our teachers to support excellent instruction in this challenging time of dual modality, which is teaching both online and in person simultaneously. Our incredible teachers are creating instructional materials and opportunities for virtual and in-person learners each and every day, which is a lot of work. The early release will be their dedicated time to plan and prepare. So please make arrangements for the Wednesday schedule of an early release each week. We last offered in-person learning in October and November of last year. And we had several positive cases of COVID-19 in our student group. However, we, did, we didn't have any reason to believe that COVID was spread on campus. This is a huge success for us all. Our success in this area, it didn't just happen. We all worked together to run a tight ship. Every student, teacher, and staff member need to be on board with our safety plan. Let's take a little time to go over a few of the important practices that we encouraged to maintain a healthy environment at school. One, we asked students to stay at home if they weren't feeling well, and they did. Two, everyone reported their COVID exposures to the nurse. Three, COVID quarantine assignments were accepted and followed well. Four, we asked everyone to wear a cloth mask on campus, and they did. And five, Everyone helped out with cleaning surfaces and hands throughout the day. Six, all of us did our best to social distance as best we can in all settings. And I'm gonna add a seven because we are especially needing to be careful when distancing at lunch because lunchtime is that time when we may have our masks down to eat. Mr. Hummer, those are all actions we must be willing to take if we are to remain safely in person. Students will remember that you and I had many conversations about staying firm on these expectations. We also empowered all of you to hold one another accountable to safety 
That's how we managed not to spread COVID from person to person on our campus. During the pandemic, we have stopped sharing materials in class in the ways we had before. Students aren't passing around laptops or lab materials because we know that's a way in which disease can spread. For this reason, it's critical that before returning to school, you take a good look at your supplies to make sure you have everything you need. It's not possible or practical to borrow things from friends or teachers. If you're electing to return to in-school, take some time, go through your backpack to ensure that you have the materials your teachers request. For example, are you ready to return with a calculator, pencils and pens, maybe a ruler, and definitely a water bottle? Be prepared to start a routine of charging your laptop each night and bringing the cord to school so you can avoid borrowing one from our library. These are small things that you can do to keep germs from spreading at DSMS and ultimately to keep us open for good. Lastly, we want to thank our families who have supported us with cleaning supplies in the past. As a reminder, we would happily accept donations of paper towels, Lysol spray, sanitizing wipes, and hand sanitizer to replenish our stocks. These items would happily be accepted in our front office. I'm going to wrap up here by saying that on February 22nd, we'll begin an important first step in returning to a more regular school experience with in-person attendance and a full day schedule. Some are excited about this and others are ex understandably nervous. Most of us are a combination of the two. We've been through a lot of ups and downs. As I close this message out, I want to ask that all of you bear in mind that our time with COVID-19 pandemic has been very difficult for some of our students, families, teachers, and staff. Our struggles are very real and seldom seen on the surface. I've always known Desert Shadows Middle School to be a school with a big heart. And we really need your kindness and caring to shine through this spring more than ever. Let's continue to take good care of one another by checking in with lots of people, making connections, and helping out in, in other ways to make sure that we're all healthy, actively participating in class, and enjoying our school activities. You can make a difference. Be kind and be brave, Sidewinders. <laughs>